my name is Eugene. I'm the new CIO of Hong Kong. And uh, my public provides ultra-fast fiber broadband uh, to four countries today. Uh, and we are growing in the Asia Pacific region. So we uh, started off in Singapore in 2011. And then we expanded to New Zealand, to Indonesia, and finally to Australia, where we launched uh, late last year. I think one of the key challenges for my republic is the fact that we operate in multiple countries. Right, and once you operate in multiple countries, collaboration becomes a big problem. Right, and that was one of the challenges that we faced uh, as our organization grows uh, into more countries. Right, so we we're very happy to have uh, you know, the Google for Work uh, implementation done for us because that allowed us to collaborate more easily. Yeah, uh, we could easily share files from, uh, let's say, Singapore to Indonesia. We could easily um, have meetings, right, through Hangouts, uh, and that was really cool. Coinstar has really helped us to make that entire transition very smooth. Right, they helped us from the start to the end, right, making sure that there's enough support even within country. They created these, uh, you know, user groups to uh, rah rah the use of uh, the work forward and ensuring that you know if anyone had a problem, they could approach these, uh, you know, user groups first uh, to get support. So the entire migration process was very smooth. And there weren't any complaints, at least from my perspective. Right? Uh, well, uh, we actually had to pretty much start back for uh, how do we move in the south of the official subscribe. Um, so it's important to have a good communication, can, uh, uh, good communication to the users first, getting them used to it. So we had um, Google Guides, Concept of Us Train the Google Guides. Um, with Indonesia being our largest uh, uh, user base, it allows uh, um, we had to start uh, early on just to make sure that the trainers are trained, followed, and it goes down. And Google being relatively easy and Google ready. Most of the users that we talked to already had experience using Gmail, for example. Uh, so it was very easy for them to switch. And um, so the move in terms of storing their files, the, uh, they were storing files locally only, and for them to be able to move to drive, it saves them the hassle of what happens to my data if it is if it gets files, things like that. Yeah, so um, as well, uh, you just mentioned Hangouts is a good start actually for us to collaborate and communicate with users. Uh, Across the different countries, um, you're able to communicate with them without you know, looking out uh, what's their phone number. You just look for them with their email address, and you have their. You can just reach out to them directly as well. And you know, arranging appointments uh, through calendar has been uh, really easy for us to check out the local stocks for all the countries. So when you keep in touch with uh, uh, the colleagues across uh, New Zealand and Australia. And with a time zone difference, um, scheduling sometimes can be a nightmare, but it, well, it's, a, it's, it's much easier for us to schedule stuff. Um, so for that matter, we decided to appoint point stuff to help us you know, move back uh, for a whole group back to the work. And I guess at the point as well, Google's uh, Google for Work product was much more mature. There's the security mechanisms that we're looking for right, uh, that were in place. 